Hi, it's Janet Wakelin with RemarkablyCreated.com. In today's One Take Wonder video, we're going to look at a really fun photo project. It's fun to pepper photos around your desk. It's also fun to have photos around the house. And photos are also great for decorating special occasions. And, and you know, right now as we're looking at graduations, weddings, and showers, end of the year parties, it's fun to have photos um, spread around those events. They stimulate conversation. Um, as people make trips down memory lane and talk about the photos and just make for really cute favors that um, will then go on to be used um, again after the event is over. So this fun little favor is a self-standing little pinwheel that is using a spool and of course just has a fun little photo on it. How fancy you choose to make it with little tags and things like that will be up to you. Um, but again, it's a very simple project that goes together quickly and easily. So let's go ahead and let's make one together. The set of dimensions I will have printed out on my blog, RemarkablyCreated.com, and you'll be able to pick up um, and visit there so that you can get the actual dimensions. What we're working with is we're working with a spool that gives you the weight. We're working with different size circles and a scallop punch, a little smaller scallop punch. I have um, one of our silver buttons with red baker's twine. We have our beautiful Knight of Navy cardstock and some white cardstock. And then I'm using our new Maritime Designer Series paper that will debut um, June 2nd from Stampin' Up! And then I also have another smaller strip of that Maritime paper. So let's go ahead and let's get started. The first thing that we're going to do is with the hot glue gun you're going to go ahead and add adhesive to the bottom or to one end of it I should say and you're going to take your your dimensional and that just prevents the stick from going the whole way through you are going to need a small dowel so we'll set that aside and then we're going to go ahead and let's adhere well it's stuck already to the paper it's got stickies on there there we go and you've got your three different layers just like that and you're going to want a handheld punch, and I'm excited that Stampin' Up! will be carrying these again in their catalog. And you're going to have your punch just like that. You're going to want to use your hot glue. And make sure you get good coverage, because this is going to want to stick. And then what I've done is I've already taken the dowel and pushed it through that hole. And you want it to be a tight fit. You don't want it to be loose, because if it's too loose, what will happen is that that pinwheel will rotate or flop side to side and then will eventually fall over. So you want a nice tight fit so that it stands upright. If you're working with really, really heavy weight cardstock as opposed to this nice lighter weight designer paper, you might want to take a, like a little piece of Play-Doh or a piece of, photo, um, a piece of polymer clay, make a little ball and push your stick into that and push it down into the hole so you have a little bit of weight. So we have that. One of the other things then is you're going to take your piece of designer paper. I have sticky strip on both sides. And a la Julia Childs, I've already pulled the sticky part off. And this is just cut the width here. And you can find great empty spools at all of your craft places. So there you go. You've got the paper here. We've got our piece on the bottom and our three layered pieces here to hold our stick. The next thing that we need to do is we need a six by six piece of paper. And you're going to fold that on the diagonal. Give yourself a good score. And then you're going to turn it and you're going to fold it on the diagonal again. And that way you'll have four triangles. So there you go, you've got four triangles. And then you're going to take a pair of snips and you're going to cut up almost to the center. And what that looks like, you're going to do all four pieces almost to the center. So you can see that here. And now what I'm going to do is you need to decide just by looking at it which way you want your pinwheel. Do you want the red on the inside or the outside? You just need to kind of look at it. I'm going to work it so that the print is on the inside. I put a little bit of hot glue there in the center. Now I'm going to pull just every corner into that center, just like so. Oops. Yeah, just like so, Jen is right. Let's 
put a little bit more on there. I'm trying not to have too big of a blob, but even though I have a button I'm going to cover it. I don't know what I was worried about. So we're just going to hold that in there. Janet. You know, things always go goofy when somebody's watching, right? Isn't that Murphy's Law? We're going to take a little piece of um, white baker's twine and we're just going to give ourselves a little loop of it. And I'm going to catch the edges in that glue. I'm just kind of a messy little circle, kind of like how all those maritime ropes and things. Usually they're not messy, though. They're well taken care of and well knotted. I'm going to use a little bit more for this dot here in the center. And then I'm going to add my little embellishment. That's my button. Just like so. And now I want to adhere it to my piece here. And I'm going to go ahead and... Put some adhesive. Oops, and we're going to lay the dowel rod down in that. And we're going to take a piece of cardstock that was punched in a circle shape. And we're just going to hold it for a second until it adheres. And now you can already see where it's starting to stand. So we've got our little self standing little pinwheel. Now, the last thing that we want to do is we want to take cardstock that we've cut to fit in our scallop topper punch with a little piece that's cut down. Um, you can put a message on here if you don't want to put a photo, a little note or something, or um, you can put a photo right on here without the white piece. We have one of our tag topper punches. We're going to slide that right in, like so. And now we have a great top that's ready to go. You will take a piece of twine, and what we're going to do is just tie that right on. And you can see how this would make quick and easy because you can see how quickly we made this favors. Be really cute for a child's birthday party. And then to keep this from sliding down and to keep it positioned the way that you want it, we're going to just slide it up and we're going to just add a little dab of glue. Oops, get rid of my string. I'm going to add just a little dab of glue. And then it can stay where I want it to stay. And I can add my message. So real simple and real easy assembly of this project. And again, it's going to make great favors at some events. I'm going to be doing some in some other colors for a summer birthday party that I have planned because I think they're so stinking cute. And then again, just to show you the other one, this was a project that was taught to me by demonstrator um, Mindy Gray, and I really appreciate her sharing her talents with us. And you can see here where she added a fun little in-color boutique, some little twine. She added some extra little pieces that just says, love this, and then you and me. She actually took the time to stamp her little circles. So just showing you again that you can make them as quickly and as easily as you want. And it's tall and um, as short as you want as well, depending on what you're doing. And it's fun little projects like this. It sometimes makes me wish that I worked in an office because, boy, I would have the doggone cutest little cubicle. My little cubby would be decorated with so much fun things like this. So... Have fun creating your pinwheel, and don't forget to visit RemarkablyCreated.com for all of the dimensions um, and a printable tutorial for what I just showed you. Take care, and God bless.